do you leave the show with such a bombshell like that and then just skedaddle? You're just like, peace, I'm out, and then peace run. Out. Like, what? Peace, I'm out of here. Yeah. Um, it was hard. It was hard. First of all, it's two, it's two different decisions. One is to go home and go back and be with my family, my wife and daughter. And the other is to deliver the best possible show that we possibly can in, in any possible world. And um, we did it. It was hard. I'm torn about it. Um, but secure in my decision for having done it. Do you know anything about season five that you could tell us? Nobody's going to tell you anything. Do, do you, you know that, right? Most of the actors don't know. Don't know anything about it. Yeah. Uh, we have ways. Yeah. We'll find. We'll find ways. Someone. <laughs> How deep are you into the planning stages for season five, especially minus Clyde? We feel um, we're in fantastic, fantastic shape, and with a, you know, a brilliant psychologically gut-wrenching, uh, connective year. Very cool. Can you can you tell us anything about season five? No, other Please? other than by dinner. <laughs> other than. Um, because when you start out a season, you think, all right, do we want to jump ahead? Do we want to do this? And we thought, you know what? No. It takes time. But to see Dexter process, go through the, the steps of grief, the steps of dealing with arranging a funeral and the children and where they're going to live and who really has custody of, you know, what did he ever legally adopt of? Uh, uh, Cody and Astor and so when you see Dexter go through the things that we would all have to go through in that situation but it's refracted through Dexter's special prism makes it fascinating and I think cathartic for our audience who still is reeling from it and I think it would be a cheat and they would be angry with us and, and we everyone on the show feels uh, an emotional uh, commitment to our audience to never betray them like that.